Hi guys, it's Chris and I'm back with more information from our Lord Jesus. And I wanted to play you guys a really quick clip that was mind-blowing to me. So I'll play this really quick. And I'm going to only take a minute and then I'll uh, give you guys what he's given me in the last few days. Okay, so let's see. It's the invasion of the peacocks. Hundreds of the majestic birds have taken up residence in the small town of East Pasadena, just outside of Los Angeles. They travel in packs, hang out in yards, peck at roofs, and just roam in the middle of the street in search of food. <laughs> One of the biggest annoyances, their mating call. And sound like... Um, so that babies. was... June 11th, 2021. Okay. So, let's go back here to my pictures. Sorry, guys. Um, I know. That's why I hardly ever play videos or anything else on my channel. Because it's just so hard to um, go to and from on the tablet. But I'll probably start doing these on my laptop so that um, I can do a better job of just screen record. But anyway, as you can see, I did a peacock video. And it says, peacocks. Panama Canal, question mark, and cost of things will skyrocket. So that is confirmation on the Peacock video, which I say in this video, um, I believe it refers to June. I, I actually put Peacocks in another video before this, but I couldn't find. I'm not sure which video it was. Um, he kept giving me Peacocks, and I didn't know why. Probably because he wanted me to share it, and he knew I wasn't going to because I just didn't know what he was saying. So, um, I thought it referred to June as I, um, happened to see something about peacocks, um, meaning something about June, but anyway, um, cause he had given me so many references to June, but I guess it was literal that it was going to be in the news that these were invading a California town. I just think that is so crazy. It's great. And then also I have another prophecy fulfilled. I actually put this uh, tornado picture on here, but then I changed it back to the scroll, but YouTube's not wanting to co cooperate at all. Matter of fact, I'm not getting my comments, and um, they're taking, they're just unsubscribing people still, and they're just basically anything to attack my channel. It really is just anything. So I was trying to change this back to the scroll, and it won't let me. Um, apparently because it's not done but anyway it says dream scroll unrolled so this prophecy came to pass and I didn't even realize it's crazy um, this is a clip from March 16th and I made the video in February and it says dead sea scroll fragments in the world's oldest basket found in a desert cave Israeli archaeologists have un unearthed two dozen dead sea scroll fragments from a remote cave in the Judean desert. The first discovery of such Jewish religious texts in more than half a century. So, um, yeah, that prophecy was fulfilled as well. And I didn't know what he meant by the scroll. I thought maybe it was uh, referring to um, the end times, you know, the seals being broken. But apparently not. It was actually telling me, he was telling me that they were going to find more Dead Sea Scrolls. And then some dreams I remember all of and every bits and piece. And then other dreams I'm only getting part of. So I just remember in that dream um, the scroll unrolling, unfortunately, or I would have known um, to keep looking, you know, for them to find more. Okay, so now the things he's given me. I've got several mind blowing numbers. And also I had a dream last night that this is crazy too. So last night in my dream, the Lord tells me, um, he says, when was America, or first he asked me, when was the Declaration of Independence signed? And so, um, I actually, I don't even think I gave a, I might have said July 4th, I'm not sure, but I told him 1776, Lord. And the Declaration of Independence um, was actually signed on August 2nd, 1776. So it is uh, one of the most important but least celebrated days in American history when 56 members of the Second Con uh, Continental Congress started signing the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia. 
Okay, so that out of the way. So he asked me, uh, when is America's birthday? And I told him, July 4th, 1776, Lord. And he said, wrong. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean wrong? So this is just another, you know, confirmation on the declaration being signed on August 2nd, 1776. But when he told me wrong, he told me it was March 5th. 1776 was America's birthday. So I don't know if something significant is going to happen on March 5th or if, you know, he just wanted me to know that it was definitely from him because I knew, I always test the spirits anyway, but I knew it was him. Um, but it's crazy because when I get up, I looked it up and then it says what happened in Boston on March 4th, 1776. Um, so I'm like, what in the world? And I keep reading. And then it says uh, the Boston Massacre helped galvanize Boston and the colonies against the uh, mother country. Samuel Adams, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, played a leading role in framing the March 5th incident as a battle for American liberty. I did not know that it was March 5th. I had My brain could not have known that. And then he tells me, you know, July 4th, 1776, wrong. That's not America's birthday. And what God uh, looks at as, as, as America's birthday is March 5th, 1776. And I guess they could have also celebrated it on August 2nd, 1776. Um, but neither of those dates are when we celebrate it. Instead, it's July 4th. It has something to do with the Luciferian agenda and these uh, secret societies. That's who chose July 4th, 1776. It has nothing to do with America's actual birthday. And he wanted me to know that. And as I told you guys, for several years in a row, I've gotten there. There'll be an attack on July 4th, I believe. So um, I just know it was a patriotic day for America uh, one that's very significant and then I kept getting holiday holiday and then I got July 4 several times so I believe that's this year but it could be next year of course and I'm not saying that you'll be here because like I said there are three raptures and I get so much pertaining to um, leaving it's amazing um, that just keeps amping up and actually I wanted to give you guys some of these numbers Oh, I thought that was an important number because I'll sometimes put them by themselves if they're real important but anyway so I got also uh, yeah several numbers most of them meaning um, to go up or I even got to transform um, and things this time so uh, it just keeps the the clues he gives me about departure and leaving and um, catching away are just uh, becoming so close together and uh, very, you know, urgent. Also, just a sense of urgency he puts in my spirit to do all I can for these last, you know, um, mile is amazing. So it's very close. And I told you guys many times that he's given me June, June, June. And then the, the angel gave me two tickets, um, those little admit one, those little red tickets. Um, actually, the angel gave me eight tickets. They gave me four tickets and then four more. And it was for, you know, the amusement park, supposedly. But um, I just couldn't believe that either because he said, if you don't use these tickets this year, you'll definitely use them next year. So that is crazy in itself. But there are three catching away. I really, actually two and then maybe the second coming. I'm not sure, but I just know the bride goes with the children and the 144 be changed. Um, they'll be changed and come right back down. And then the majority of the church or the wheat harvest will be um, after that one. So I don't know how long after anything. But I'm sorry, guys, I got the hiccups again. It's uh, You get hiccups a lot when you got kidney trouble. And I've been kind of depressed. My back's killing me after three sets of shots. And then I even burnt the nerves in my back. And I'm still, I can't hardly even get up and load my dishwasher. If you guys could please, please, please pray for me, that would be great. I keep getting cursed and other words, knowing that I have attacks on me and my family. So if you could, I'm going to need all the prayers I can get to um, erase those. If you could pray for my pain and also for um, my family. 
Um, so also I got 5487 fulfill end consume. So we know that he says he comes to fulfill prophecy. So to come to an end. And then also I got golf. And I told you guys I keep getting dual, dual, dual. So I'm not sure if he's telling me about dual hurricanes or if there's some other significance for dual. But I got golf. And then I got uh, 5490 in Hebrew. Uh, so a termination or conclusion, the end again. And let's see, I also got uh, 5500 to choose, appoint, ordain, select. And then 5507, a shield or buckler. That is great. <laughs> I was like, what? And then let's see, uh, Greek 5510, a snow. And I saw snow in June eventually. It was uh, my birthday in June. I walked outside and there's about three foot of snow on the ground in this dream. So um, I know that because of the pole shift or the poles shifting and and also the weather manipulation by the fallen winds like the Lord showed me, um, we will have uh, crazy weather that will continue to get crazier and crazier and eventually see snow in the month of June um, in America. So that will be something to behold and then I got also um, confirmation to give you guys these things Hebrew 543 I got many confirmations but faithfulness truth amen truly and also so be it but he's given me faithfulness so many times and then I had a dream the other night of fighting evil these were demons in human form I was fighting them, and then um, I just knew that I needed to have 100% faith. And I took, um, I had some um, awesome authority. Um, I don't, I have the faith right now, but it was just so magnified in this dream, I can't really describe it. And I was screaming at these things to, you know, rebuking them in Jesus' name. And it was, it was intense. It seemed so real. And then also, so I may have been fighting him in the spirit, I'm not sure, but I also got Greek 542 to see fully. And then, this is crazy, as I've told you guys, I get wall many times, and I got again, Hebrew 1447, um, enclosure, fence, hedge, wall. Um, so hopefully he's letting me know that, again, a wall of pr protection um, because, as I said, I'm getting many attacks, and he's let me know about that. And then I also was looking for that other Peacock video, and I found this, which says um, a drought, also heat. And um, I did this video in March. It's called Insurrection, War, Massive Arrest, Time for Change, A Whirlwind, Tempest, or Storm Now. But in there, I gave a number on a a big drought coming in a heat so I just uh, screenshotted these in case I can't play that clip for you um, there is a great picture I found on um, I can't think it Jeff P's channel yeah it's of the uh, two light sources which I saw across from my home in the sky as well and then this is another one I can't remember I think this was from Mr. MBB 333's channel I just thought it was awesome um, Planet X is supposed to have two wings on either side and that is a really neat picture I'm not sure if that's why the picture looks that way but if not it's probably a clue about what's coming because it looks identical to um, Planet X and then also I got um, pictures here of the annular um, eclipse the other day people in the northern hemisphere took those and that is um, neat as well and then I got also a G154 require um, ask. So if you need something, ask for it and ask for it in Jesus' name, anything that you need. Also, Hebrew 154 mighty. And then uh, Greek 1091 farm. So I had a dream also that we had a small farm. For some reason, we had a, a goat and a sheep and a cow. And I keep getting the word cow over and over and over. And we're also going to have a meat shortage because I've gotten that like 10 times. And also I got, oh yeah, um, the 27th. 
So all of a sudden, just the number 27th, uh, 27th. So I know it had to be a date. Popped right up on my phone for absolutely no reason. It was like, what? And so the 27th is significant. Also, riots, more riots. And then I had a, um, I give you guys that someone was going to get beaten. I also got choked and stabbed, but I didn't know it might be the same person. And then I guess a 14-year-old girl was beaten and choked and stabbed um, by an African-American guy. And I think it was uh, North Dakota. And if that was what the Lord was giving me that for, then it must be going to be significant. But if not, maybe it's another incident. But um, that was later on down the page where he had given me um, beaten and choked and stabbed. But I just didn't realize it was going to be the same person for all three. I also got the word Sonic several times. So I don't know if it's Sonic Boom or Sonic Speeds. Um, also, I keep getting Delta. Delta, Delta. I got Delta Dawn. Um, you know that, that song? Uh, I think... Tanya Tucker maybe sings it. It's like Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Um, and it's talking about um, meeting someone to go to that mansion in the sky. I also had a dream that um, I was like, oh, so a natural disaster is going to happen in a place that's named after tires. And I didn't get that out, but it's so crazy. I thought named after tires. And then I looked and it was so nuts because... I guess Firestone, Colorado, was hit with a tornado like the next day. And I was like, what? That's just the warnings from him and the anointing is amping up, guys. So there's going to be dust in the air and also poison water. Also, uh, like I said, riots. And um, I got that word beating. Um, so I think that has to do with that girl, but I'm not sure. Um, Delta, and I gave you guys already dust, wind, hail, and I also got hail in a number. And then I got storm, um, also black clouds, and I keep getting black, black skies, black clouds. Um, this is Hebrew 1091, destruction, terror, or trouble, alarm. And then uh, also 517 in Greek is invisible, or invisible thing. Um, 517 in Hebrew, I got this a couple days ago, it's uh, a mother, also dam. So there's going to be something again with the dam. And then, let's see, Greek 4365, to come unto, go before, journey towards. Um, that is great. So I told you guys, I keep getting things referring to either his coming. I even got the song called hold on i'm coming so you guys can kind of google that and read the words for yourself but i was blown away about fell out of my seat um yeah this uh, i kept hearing this song and i didn't know what it was because it's a lot it's an older song so i um used google to tell me what song it was and when it said hold on i'm coming i was like what this is just crazy um, so that was very encouraging and i have it here but i just get so much when i send it to the tablet I don't get time to get all the way through these before, you know, time's pretty much up for the video. I could go on uh, for those that want to see the rest, and um, but the, the problem is most people are going to miss the ending of this video, so they're going to miss all that information. Also, uh, yeah, it seems like I always wait till the end to tell this, but um, if you need a Bible, please email me at watchwomenforjesus at gmail. And also, if you leave a comment, it seems I haven't answered or I'm not getting your comment. Please just send that to, you know, a question or a comment you'd like me to know for sure. Uh, send it to watchwomenforjesus at gmail. And then if anyone can help me out, I always leave my PayPal there as well. I do have a post office box. I'll try to remember to put that in there. But, yeah, I could really use your help right now, and I couldn't make it without you guys, so you don't know how much I appreciate you. And then um, I have a few orders for Bibles, so if you've already asked me for a Bible, guys, I'm on it. I'm getting those shipped out probably tomorrow. So um, I'll give you guys a few more of these and let it go a little, little longer than normal because, like I said, I've just got so much I can't um, get it all to you. Um, Hebrew 4365, a net, or drag net, for like a fisherman. And then uh, Greek 3987, 
um, attempt. Also, it can be to test or tempt. And we know that we're going through testing and try like go now. Hebrew 39.87, uh, refuse. And I keep getting to stand and also to refuse. Also, uh, Greek 11.46, I got ring. So he's talking about both, you know, wedding ring because we're about to go to the wedding supper of the Lamb, but also uh, the ring of fire um, going off with many volcanoes. Also, uh, Greek 11.45, I keep getting a lot of this, to shed tears, to weep. So there's going to be a lot of weeping, and we're in the days of sorrows now. Also, let's see, uh, Hebrew 11.44, um, territory. Also, youngest son of Jacob. So this would be uh, the tribe of Benjamin. Also, Greek 33.38, repent. So I got this. Um, after my last video, which I mentioned, you know, repentance and that is not works. Asking him to forgive you for things you've done is not a work. When he's talking about works, he means trying to, you know, carrying groceries for someone, um, donating to the poor, walking an old lady across the street, um, doing a ministry or becoming a minister of the word. It doesn't matter what we do, it'd never be good enough. So that's what he means by works it's not that when you ask for forgiveness of something you've done that's a work it's not also he's told me many 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 times to say it again um, hebrew 3338 member or part i don't really know what that means yet and then greek 3339 this is great too to transfigure or change transform metamorphosis and that is awesome so he's talking about the 144 down here i got also um a rising on light and he told me that those shine brighter than the sun also i got greek 3340 repent again to think differently and the other one was to feel remorse um also repentance see how many times i get it so um yeah well, anyone who thinks that they're not supposed to be asking is wrong also, Hebrew 33, 33, 41, to kindle, burned, um, so to burn, set on fire, and to become desolate, burn up. So, that's all coming as well. I saw a huge meteor storm um, where these small meteors are just pelting everywhere and catching fire. Also, again, I got the word beat right there. Um, so, I kept seeing it and then a choke. So I got choked as well. And um, I think it has to do with this girl in North Dakota, but I'm not sure. So we'll see what happens with this. Also, I got the word seal, and I thought maybe it was uh, mentioning, you know, the 144 being sealed. But then, like a couple of days later, um, I've seen this in the news. 7,000-year-old letter seal uh, found in Israel hints at ancient long-distance trade. So some, and I, I got the word egg also, and this is a 1,000-year-old egg found, and I guess uh, archaeologists accidentally cracked the egg when they found it. But I didn't give egg. I kept thinking, why in the world would he give me egg? And then these are also important that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, so I got this. So this is uh, part of a project at CERN, and they are letting in, you know, things that shouldn't be in this realm so be sure and anoint yourself your home with holy oil and um, pray several times a day um, i don't really know because there hasn't been a time like this on earth thus far but there are several things in the realm right right around us that we can't see also um i don't know what this one was about guys probably just a ring of fire eclipse and then here are several numbers which apparently were kind of important um, let me show you this first so there are giants big robot type giants they're supposed to be like an art thing going up around the world in 21 cities and that's just crazy uh, so they can make them whoever and this is probably why I keep getting the word idol 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 and warnings for idols um, so they're gonna make them into different people they put Nikola Tesla up there, JFK, um, several, you know, 
Uh, it was Captain America. So they're gonna they're gonna even let people that show up there become part of it by giving us, I guess, a selfie, and you can be the giant yourself. But it's just again telling us what's coming, um, because as I've told you guys, the giants of the Bible are returning with these fallen ones, so-called gods, little g. Um, but they're not gods. They're going to say they seeded the earth, but they didn't. And I think this is actually the one I just gave you guys. It is. I just wanted to be sure to give you guys those numbers um, so that I didn't miss out. And here is the one on light and rising. So that's great. I'll end with this since it's so, you know, encouraging. Um, that is Hebrew 22:25, um, a rising light or light rising. So he's uh, talking about the 144 about to rise and, and shine, and it's just awesome. I can't wait. Um, so, like I said, if you guys need a Bible, please email me at watchwomenforjesus at gmail. I'm still working on my website. I'll put my PayPal there if anyone can help out, and um, I'll try to remember the post office box, and I'll be back on um, with more of this information. I got a lot more to share, guys. So. Um, probably just a day or two, I'll try to make another video and give you guys the rest of that. But hope you're well. I'm praying for each and every one of you every night. And I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Shalom.